You are now listening to the Salty Virgins Podcast. Welcome to the Salty Virgins Club Podcast. I'm your host, Jordan. I'm joined by a full cast. We have Jackson, we have Kevin, and we have British Patrick this week uh, here chip, chip. to... That's what you can serve you up the. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he was gonna do that. <laughs> I... At least you didn't order a family bucket of chicken this time. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't order a family bucket of chicken in a panic. Patrick, regale us of your tales of hello, mates. Of, of the London. other side of the pond. <clears throat> um, it was a good time. It was super all right, cold. Next topic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's all, all there is. The Brit, Brit, Brit That's all I can really talk about. No. Um. So it got dark at like four, which was kind of a bummer because we were waking up around ten because we were staying out until like three. Um. So, I didn't really, <laughs> so, so you just, went to sleep with the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we didn't like do a ton of sightseeing. We did one day. Um. So we saw the Tower Bridge, which everyone calls the London Bridge. Yeah. But don't. But don't Bridge. go to the London. You, you went to the London Bridge at the right time, right? Uh, we did not go to the London Bridge. Because uh, we they Tower couldn't Bridge. go to the London Bridge. <laughs> oh, but I think you said everyone called it the London Bridge. Are they did different things? I don't know anything about the London. The London Bridge is literally just a bridge. It's not like it's not like anything to look at. Like the Brooklyn Bridge? Uh, no, the Brooklyn Bridge is something to look at. It's literally just it's kind of like a drawbridge. There's, it's, it's nothing. Oh, so the people Tower get stabbed is... on the London Bridge? Yeah, apparently. Uh, we People were stabbed <laughs> on the Brooklyn Bridge too, Kevin. <laughs> we were like right next to Westminster Abbey, which is probably like half a mile away from the London Bridge when that happened. Uh, yeah, no, Jordan. The night Patrick and them landed. No, I know. This, yeah, the stabbing happened. Then some guy beat him off with a narwhal horn. A narwhal uh, tusk. 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 That's what they're wait, called. Not wait horns. Wait a second. What? <laughs> wait, you didn't hear <laughs> I, I that? Didn't hear, I didn't hear about that either. Uh, yeah, it was like some. Okay, just keep going, and we'll... we'll He's going to pull up the article. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I fucked up on the way over there, like, very hard. So our flight left at 8, mm-hmm. and then it's an 8-hour flight. Mm-hmm. And then we landed at 9.10, and then mm-hmm. I was... <laughs> I watched two movies on the plane, and then we had, like, three hours left in the flight, and I'm like, oh, shit, I only have three hours to sleep for the rest of the day. I did not think about it like that. Oh, no. yeah. yeah, so I was a uh, pretty fucking tired when we landed. Um, I have, we, I have oh. trouble sleeping on planes in general. Like when I when I flew to Spain, I I didn't I barely slept at all on that plane. Even like I had late flight sleeps, I just couldn't do it for some reason. Yeah, I can't sleep on planes either. I don't really yeah, like to back sleep to on the plane. narwhal tusk <laughs> and the stabbing. <laughs> Apparently, like the stab, like I guess. There's a hall. It's called Fishmonger's Hall. I'm assuming at this point it's some kind of like museum. So the guy who was doing the stabbing, like the people barricaded themselves inside the building and he was trying to break down the doors. He eventually got in and then two men were using chairs, fire extinguishers, a pole and a narwhal tusk, which was hanging on the wall. That's to fend him off and drive him from the building. What a story. What heroes. <laughs> The sad thing about that is, like, that was for, like, a, a prisoner rehabilitation conference. And he stabbed the people in charge of it. Ah, it's, it's bad. Bad news. I don't know it's anything bad. about the story. What? Yeah. The <clears throat> person who committed the stabbing um, had been released early from prison as a part of some program. Rehabilitation program. Yeah. So I hate to see that. He was sentenced to 16 years for terrorist-related activities. Which is in eight, London stabbing. And then attacked again. Recidivism. Yeah, things are great. The sad part about that is while that happened, literally that night, like 12 people got shot in New Orleans and no one knows anything about that. Yeah, this was international news and... Well, shootings yeah. in the U.S. are just like local news at this yeah, point. Yeah, very shootings? sad. Yeah. Very sad. Last comment on that, very sad. Um, so yeah, the food in London is absolutely terrible. <laughs> we told you that before you went. <laughs> it's not great. Um, I had some actually pretty good fish and chips. But oh boy, my, fried did you fish, complain about you it not up? being chips? 
<laughs> no, we're pussies. <laughs> we didn't do anything on that list. Um, uh, Patrick and his brother pussy. Wow. <laughs> Mike got a meat pie and he said it was just the worst thing he ever had. And then Scott, was, the other guy that went with us, uh, he had like turkey and gravy and he said he did not have enough water to choke down that dry ass turkey. <laughs> I don't know if that's on the British people. I think that's on turkey. <laughs> Yeah, and then all the side dishes were like boiled vegetables. Yeah, oh, <laughs> they God. just boil everything. What the fuck? Yeah, everything is boiled. It's gross. boiled or steamed. <laughs> yeah, How can they we take told you all? it was going to be bad. We were and making you jokes didn't like, us. "Do you guys know what an English pizza is? You just take a pizza and then you boil it." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peak so, of comedy. Did you have beans and toast? No, I I only had what? fish and chips. No, <laughs> <laughs> I only had fish and chips. After I had that, I'm like, no, we're probably uh, stopping the British food. Um, you didn't I have didn't, beans and toast? I did not. Did you go to Nando's at least? No. <laughs> oh my god. God. No, we uh we found this really nice like Turkish restaurant. Oh, it was so good. Oh, uh, so you delicious. just started eating Middle Eastern the, food over uh, there is oh, yeah. so the, good. The yeah. cultures they like took over and tried to destroy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. We were yeah. I'm not going to make that joke. Um so <laughs> for the we Airbnb were colonizers, we get it. <laughs> the Airbnb we stayed at was I didn't like really do any research on the area we were staying at. Sounds about uh, right. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't. <laughs> Patrick's like the king of making spreadsheets. Yeah, he spreadsheets. is king of logistics and stuff. But uh, it was awesome. Like It was kind of like a mix between, I'd say, Brooklyn and Harlem, if that makes sense. It doesn't? <laughs> like, everywhere was like like graffiti and like, it was kind of dirty. Um, but, so it's like the Bronx. But it was like full of hipsters. So it's like the Bronx. I guess it's kind or of like Brooklyn. The Bronx. I've never been to the Bronx. That's what I said. Brooklyn. Have you been to Brooklyn? Yeah, but you said a mix. That's just Brooklyn. Yeah. But there was like anyway. bodegas everywhere. I don't know. Um, Sounds like the Bronx. But yeah, so we woke up on Sunday, and we just exited our uh, Airbnb. Brexited like, here. Yeah, we Sorry. Brexited. It. <laughs> well, with that, we, did, we actually left. So. Uh, so we actually left our Airbnb, and then we were just in a farmers market. That like stretch down the whole street. I love me a good. That's the best part yeah, about traveling outside incredible. of the U.S. Is every other country has these amazing open air markets with all this fresh fruit and shit, and you can just eat. In the U.S., they're like, no, there's yeah, nasty flea incredible. markets and there's Publix. <laughs> there's no in between. We uh, listen. Not all of the U.S. has Publix, buddy. Right, Let but me tell you, Publix adjacent ish. Aldi, you want Aldi? Is that what you want? <laughs> Winn Dixie. There's Kroger. Like what? Piggly anyway, Wiggly. I got a bomb Piggly ass. Piggly Wiggly uh, sucks. Grilled cheese, though. It was delicious. Um, did they boil it? Let's see. They did, did not you boil have a good it. Time? <laughs> <laughs> I did have a good time. And then uh, for the Tottenham game, uh, first of all, I was like terrified that, because we had to buy our tickets through like a third party, that we just weren't going to get in the game because they were fake. So I was like stressing out over the whole time. But it turns out our tickets were like in like. The VI, one of the like upper boxes. So we had like meal and free drinks beforehand, and it's really nice, really nice time. You know, you told me about that when you bought the tickets. That wasn't unexpected, right? Oh, I, I fully didn't expect to be able to even get in the games. So I see. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasant surprise. Imagine going nine hours across the pond and to do the one big thing is <laughs> just like no. It was a banger of a game too. It was a good game. Yeah. It was a good game. The only I bad part. Watch- was- the only bad part was that we were sitting right next to the Bournemouth like fans, so we couldn't mm. like fully hear the the chanting of the Tottenham fans because I was being overpowered by the Bournemouth fans. You, but you also the language, it's all the same. <laughs> uh, they use that word over there too. <laughs> <laughs> they sure do. They uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, so, did, did they did they call the players the N word, Patrick? I did not hear it, but. I wouldn't be That's surprised. That's not no. <laughs> sure isn't. The, the incredible thing was like one person, just one person would start a chant and then like a second later, everyone would know the chant and just start singing like, no, oh, this has never happened. Ever. Never, ever. The uh, amount of chants they know too is yeah. incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. Uh, one I of them was like... myself like some 30 Orlando City games. I don't know what the fuck they're saying. You've also been blackout at every single one. <laughs> fair is fair. One of the chances like get the prince an Uber, <laughs> because the prince crashed his car. Oh, I thought it was because they fund like the Arabic countries I it was fund they fund a lot kids. of soccer teams. Oh. Mm. Moving on, continue <laughs> on, Patrick. Uh, let's see. 
think that was it. Oh, yeah. Other than the, the bars closed there at, like, very weird times. Like, we went to a bar that closed at, like, 12.45. And then... PM or AM? PM. Or well, AM, I guess. AM. Or <laughs> <laughs> a brunch bar, sure. honestly. <laughs> and then uh, we had a really hard time finding late night bars. Like, really tough well, time. Yes, I was the British surprised. people, they, they don't do anything. They make shitty food and go to bed and be sad. <laughs> I they know. drink a lot. They drink. They beat their time. wives. Uh, this is the most like coherently blacked out people I've ever met in my life. Like, what did we? These are the exact <laughs> things we told you. <laughs> How was the yeah. beer? It's good to see. Uh, the beer is Warm. delicious. Yeah, I had a beer called Camden Hells, which is like an IPA. Is probably the best IPA I've ever had. And, but it uh, served warm. No, it was cold. Okay. All the beers are cold. Okay. I was having a hard time believing they were serving warm beer. No. They do serve warm beer. Jordan was so adamant, though. Isn't Guinness traditionally served warm? Maybe that's no. what the Guinness is uses. poured, and then you let it settle, and then you pour so, more. Yeah, but I can't so imagine cold, drinking a warm not. Guinness. Yeah. I mean, I'd still drink it. Don't get me wrong. Yes, we know. I did have a Guinness there. Still tastes the same. Well, Gotta go to it, Ireland, yeah. I guess. Once they yeah. put it in the fucking keg, yeah, it's going to taste the same. Yeah. But yeah, it's a good trip. Good. That's exciting. How are the flights? Any Any delays? Any... You know, did you get in slightly inconvenient two air? hours and you want to talk about it for an entire hour on the podcast? Or? <laughs> no, all our flights were Somebody well. died, Kevin. <laughs> there, was a, there was a death. Um, no, there was a crying baby for the last four hours in front of us on the way back, but I had uh, noise-canceling headphones, so I was good. It's pretty important. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How, if how I didn't lounges? Was, what's that? Oh, the lounges? Oh. Uh, we just went to the one uh, exiting because we didn't get to the airport in time. Um, uh, leaving London. What, uh, you don't, wait, you didn't get to the airport on time when you were leaving the country? When I, when we left the U.S., we were in the lounge for an hour. Okay. Um, and then we didn't get to go to the one in London. Because we were very concerned. Like, we were sitting at my like The times you table. told us about how you were going to get on an international flight did not make any but sense. Patrick has pre-check. So. I have pre-check, and yeah. there was no one there. There was no you one You said the there was, he didn't have pre-check at I was. He doesn't time. have global entry. Uh, okay. That was yeah. He doesn't. <laughs> his pre-check. He doesn't have global entry. That's funny because, because when we yeah. got back to the U.S., Mike did his global entry, and then there's a thing called mobile uh, passport or something where you just go mm-hmm. in the global entry line, and we eventually just got out of that line to go into like the main line because it was going faster. Because apparently, the, all of the crew from the airplane gets checked in before the global entry line does. Yeah, Makes sense. It, it was terrible. So we just went to the regular line. Wild. <laughs> But we were concerned you were not going to make that flight. No, we were there with like an hour and a half to spare, I think. Well, that's yeah, was, exciting. Security was a breeze. That's just that's, the issue. If there was any, if there was any like delay at all, you would have not been on your flight. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> question for you, Kevin. When you flew into Spain, how was your uh, experience like getting into the country? Like, what did I mean, you have to do? fine i went to uh like customs and stuff yeah but you just walk up and they ask you customs touch patrick's butt no all i did was scan my passport and they took a picture and then i went outside i think they asked me when we're or how long we're gonna be there and i was like i had to remember it was like three-ish weeks and then they were like are you just here vacationing and i was like yeah and then that was it It it's like it's it's very easy most countries it's very very easy um every once in a while like i've had one time where i was like they asked me a couple questions but for the most part it's like a breeze they're just um any country that the u.s has a good relationship with which is those countries are dwindling but (laughs) used to be a lot more successful but uh yeah i've never had too too much of an issue um the only time i had a uh a bad experience was coming back from thailand or and from costa rica too. customs to get back into if you time it wrong and you get there at the same time as a couple other flights it's like getting back like customs is very hit or miss right so like the experience you had is incredible but if you get there at like at the same time or you you know two planes got there 10 minutes before you you're fucked because sometimes they only have like two agents working so it's like you're standing there for an hour and a half and you're coming back from vacation so you're tired you want to like get home and so that's that's the worst yeah i didn't even talk to a human being though like it was literally just a machine i scanned my password they took my picture to get into london yes (laughs) That's, I mean, that that's reasonable. And if you have most, if countries have good relationships, stuff like that is, is like a breeze. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. United States, 
UK both trying to destroy the entire uh, world. Yeah, we have that in common. Same side. And every We're every country has their own regulations on it too. So some countries are a little more lax, some are a little more um, stringent, or a little they they ask you more questions or whatever. That was the right word. I'm proud of you. Sometimes I use words that are correct. I used to read. <laughs> used to I've read a book hunters. in my day. Cryptic hunters used to be as good too. Cryptid hunters was a, definitely my was most read book in my lifetime, <laughs> besides the Bible, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just Bible said that. I will never lose my side. I, I get it, Kev. I get it. <laughs> Jackson with a Bible is the most hilarious thing I've ever thought about in my life. <laughs> so, so now Patrick's a cultured boy. Yep. Yes. Well, he's he went to England. No, no. He went to, no, he's not. <laughs> he went to London. Very cultured. Why didn't we have White Claw 70 over Thanksgiving? No, I still haven't seen it. Store. Nobody went to the liquor yeah, store. Yeah, did, did anybody look? No. Sure. I, I assumed Kevin's parents would go to Total Wine and look for us. Maybe they well, did. They, they got us White Claw. They, they got us hella White Claw mango. Well, not enough White Claw mango, but it was a lot. But it's just <laughs> no, they got, a, they got a, a hellacious amount of White Claw mango. We should drink all of it. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a hellacious amount. It was, it was a... They thank got 20, you. 20, 24 White Claw mangoes, and we were out in like an hour and a half. Four cases. <laughs> oh, it was four cases. I thought it was two. Uh, yeah, no, we drank. We went through all four shit. cases of mango white claw and like a case of Stella. Oh, also, completely switching gears. But I had Thanksgiving at Jordan's house for the first time because I've you've always come to my like family house yeah. because usually you're either trying to avoid whatever's going on at your house or it's like Correct. a it's an offset thing. But Jackson, like, we and I eat there, early and then and, you guys eat later, so it's easier for me to go over there. Yeah, I gotta say. That may have been the most fun I've had at a Thanksgiving meal. Usually, good. I have fun, but it's because there's, like, bullshit going on, so I'm kind of avoiding it while drinking. And that was kind of what happened at your house, but no one was ruining each other's lives. Your family is just ridiculous. Yeah, we were a wild bunch. Your grandma has the worst neighbor alive. <laughs> the <laughs> grandma has the worst neighbor alive. They literally... Fact. What's the, um... Benny, Benny Hill? The, uh... Da, 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 yeah, the da, da, Benny Hill theme song. Vaudeville, vaudeville. What? That, that's not vaudeville. It's Benny Hill. Is it? Anyway, yeah. so they had a Benny Hill experience trying to pick up Jordan from oh the my. airport. <laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking god! Jordan went to Terminal A. They went to pick him up at B. Then no, no, he no, went to B, and they went to A. And, <laughs> and they circled the airport like six times trying to get Jordan. Oh my god! There was boundless, just normal situations for most people and most families. But in in the Fuqua family, it was not good. It was, and there was screaming involved. I hadn't even gotten in the car. I like I had nothing to do with any of it, and I still got yelled at, and I had to drive home. There you go. That's me getting picked up by my parents. Just running back and forth between Terminal A and B while your grandma just screams. Has a NASCAR race around the MCO <laughs> terminals. Oh, Picture actually, only... they pick you up. Uh, we want Cinnabon. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> that was a good callback. That's a good callback. I like that. The best part about that Thanksgiving was, you know, uh, Jordan's grandmother said a quick grace before we ate. Nice little 10, 15 second one. It was perfect. But before the meal, everything was like very rehearsed. Like we all had to get our plates at the same time and file through and get food. And then we all, like, they said a quick grace. But right before she came and said grace, she put on some music for us to have a meal to, which is reasonable, right? <laughs> but the music that she put on was the soundtrack to the movie Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> Kevin, you're the reason why we have that. <laughs> that was playing in the background as we gave, gra- as he said grace, <laughs> which was just the funniest thing in the world to me. It was very funny. Also, I almost ruined Thanksgiving in front of my friends because right before we were all gonna like come and sit down and eat and stuff, uh, my mom and grandma were putting the last like touches on the you know the food where you gotta rebake some stuff. Oh, is this where the, the sweet potatoes fire yes. alarm almost just started going <laughs> yeah, Jackson off? Jackson and I are watching football on the couch and the fire alarm goes off, <laughs> and they look up and I go in the kitchen because I can cook. So I'm like, you know, what's going on? Wait, you cook? Wait, Sometimes. hold on. Jordan I made a compote for uh, Thanksgiving. Anyway, uh, th- my grandmother and mother burned the absolute dog shit out of the marshmallows <laughs> on top of the, <laughs> of the sweet potato casserole. So the fire alarm's going off. I walk in. I'm fucking 
dying laughing. Just dying laughing. They're like, stop it! Stop laughing! I was like, I, I literally cannot. <laughs> and I was like, hey, Kevin, you're going to be really upset. And then they were like, stop! Don't tell him! And I was like, he can smell <laughs> we can it. hear the fireball. <laughs> and then Jordan came out and told us, you can't laugh about it. <laughs> uh, to be fair, we knew better than laugh about it. I laughed about it privately. As you should. <laughs> I fucking, I could not contain myself. It was so goddamn funny. And they tried to be like, they don't know. And I'm like, they can smell it. They can hear it. <laughs> There's a loud alarm going off that generally they, means you have to call the fire department. <laughs> if you turn around, they could smell or they could see it. It was also, very funny. Also, that's, that's the first time I've ever had mac and cheese made with noodles. Like, it was like made with spaghetti noodles. It was spaghetti noodles. Yeah, I've you never had, I've had mac and cheese with a bunch of small noodles, but never with spaghetti noodles. And let me tell you. It was fantastic. Spaghetti it's a game noodles. changer. Yeah. yeah. It sounds weird. I I will say. Do it you sounds eat weird. It you like know what? Spaghetti? You can. Well, how else would you eat it? Well, I mean, the so cheese, like, melts it together, so, like, you can, like, yeah. pick, like, get clumps of it without mm. turning it's it into like, spaghetti. Yeah. Because we're black, Patrick. Also, not all people eat spaghetti by keeping the noodles at maximum length and eating it like an animal. Some people cut their spaghetti so it's a little more manageable to eat. That you can also do that with it. You're yeah. making no sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick seems like a noodle slurper. Pause. Patrick but, is a noodle slurper. Jesus Christ. I know. <laughs> that, that's on them. I didn't say that about him. <laughs> I didn't say that. We're talking about but, spaghetti, right? Correct, yes. I was uh, talking about linguine. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> linguine is a type of spaghetti, and I don't want to fight today. Wait, but, is spaghetti so, a subset of? I thought spaghetti was a kind of pasta noodle. Is there multiple kinds? I think of spaghetti? spaghetti's the the overall, and then no. the linguini, the no. angel hair. No. There's no way. No. Types of pasta. I think spaghetti is a type of noodle. I'm going to tell you right now. No. <laughs> All of our live Twitch watchers, vote. Type a one in the chat. <laughs> okay. okay, so, and when you Google types of pastas, Google's has pasta varieties, um, and it kind of bases them. It has, like, subcategories. So, like, lasagna is a ribbon pasta. Spaghetti, yes. strand pasta. Let's mm. see. Ling- linguine is a ribbon pasta. It is a subset of lasagna. It is in the lasagna family. Come but spaghetti linguine. is a family of pasta, which I didn't know. I thought spaghetti was a specific type of noodle. Spaghetti's no, spaghetti not, is a specific type of noodle. Yeah, it's noodle. not a family yeah. of pasta. Yeah, you just said there were subfamilies, and one was ribbon and one was spaghetti. No, no. Spaghetti ribbon is and, a uh, strand. strand. Spaghetti is a strand oh, pasta. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Macaroni, tubular pasta. Tubular. Correct. <laughs> no, I'm going surfing. <laughs> so Thanksgiving yes. was fun. We had a good time. Also, has, you guys an, has anybody watched the video episode? Casey did. I have. No, I haven't. <laughs> Why haven't you? I haven't either. Why not? Because I listen to the podcast in the car on the way to work. I have to like... <laughs> First of all, I have to have that. on the way. First of all, in on the way to work, you work at home. I go to I go to the office twice a week. Oh, and it's usually driving to work and from work is enough to get an episode in. If we have like a 30, 35 minute episode, that's about what gets it done. I watch the video episode because I support my own content. Also, I worked really hard on it. I, I imagine you did. What is the purpose of all these different kind of pastas? Uh, to hold sauce. We have eight subscribers. Heck yeah. We have 22 views, guys. Yeah. What? Any yeah. comments? Eight subscribers, and I think we are half of them. I'm actually not I don't subscribe to the South Avengers <laughs> Club For channel. that reason. I think I was our first subscriber. But I also set it up. So, yeah. But anyway, watch our video. It was really good. Uh, I worked really hard. There's only, like, one really hard cut, and that wasn't my fault. There was nothing I could do. Because uh, Kevin's fiance decided to get ice in the middle of us talking. Oh, yeah. She just fucking busted open the door, walked in, and just grabbed ice. <laughs> we all and looked just... at her just like... <laughs> there, were, there, were, there were better ways to do it, maybe. But we still love her. And she's... But I had a good time over Thanksgiving. Uh, Patrick, how was your Thanksgiving? I didn't get to go. <clears throat> Me and Jackson were at home. It was okay. I mean, we didn't really do much since we had to leave. Um, How mad were your parents that oh, you were... ruined Thanksgiving? <laughs> they weren't mad at all. 
Uh, I mean, they usually Outwardly. have Thanksgiving at two, and then people usually leave around the time you leave. So I mean, it's not like it was different. But we didn't hmm. like, and it was kind of hot outside. It was. It was a little hot outside, yeah. But yeah, no, our Thanksgiving was fine. Kevin came for the last part of it. Everyone was winding down, kind of turkey drunk. Was the turkey good at his house? Whose Thanksgiving was better, mine or his? I didn't eat at his house because I was full. My plan was to go to yours and then eat a little bit and then go to Pat's and eat a little bit and then keep his family eat a little bit. But then I went to yours and then I just couldn't leave. The conversation was too good. We so I ended time. up eating a full meal and then your grandmother forced me, forced me, tied me down and made me eat her apple pie with ice cream. It was ridiculous. I know. She really twisted everybody yeah, in the room's arm. It was so good. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> and then, like, it looked like the classic American apple pie. Oh, my God. I asked her for a little apple pie, and my plate was swimming in <laughs> apple pie and ice cream. Yes. My mom did the she lattice worked. for her apple pie. It was okay. great as well. Shout out Carol. Yeah. So I, I just went. I, I stopped by Pat's to say hi. But then it's like... Patrick, I know most of your family, yet whenever I walk into a gathering where your whole family is there, everyone kind of looks at me like they're hoping I won't walk over and say hi. Uh, no, that's my family. I, what, uh, how is that surprising to you at all? <laughs> I know them so well, though. It's like <laughs> I'm not confident my grandma knows your name. That, I mean, I'm not even talking about the racist grandma. I don't okay. need, you know. You, my grandma, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even like your sisters, though. I walked in and they just put kind of like, <gasps> and I was like, kind of waved and said hi and then no one made a move to get up so i was like all right i'm gonna go say hi to his parents <laughs> yeah uh, yeah that's not surprising you love to see it you love to see it there's a lot you of dogs to... at patrick's house so many dogs callie's getting some gray now uh yeah uh, she's, she's showing her so age cute, though. she's also very small very small she's not large no i don't know she's the same size she's always been by the yes, way yes i know okay <laughs> so you said that as if she shrunk <laughs> Zoe's, not... Zoe's the smallest, so our when I was gone, our neighbors had a uh, birthday party for one of their dogs, and okay. Zoe was getting dominated the whole time. She's just so small. You probably shouldn't say that about your dog. <laughs> she, she, she was getting sat on. Sounds about right. <laughs> this not helping the weary connotations. Nope. <laughs> Listen, what Zoe wants to do in her free time yeah, is none of our business, guys. She's yeah, living she her life. It's somebody's private. business. It's somebody's business. <laughs> So also, shouts to all the people that had us in their Spotify year of 2019. Uh, Wrapped. Most listened to. Yeah. I don't I don't even look at it, but I saw people tag us in their Instagram story. That was kind of cool. I Some of people, we were their most listened to podcast, which is nuts to me. Yeah, that's insane. When I started Must seeing that happen. Must not to Yeah, it tells me that people don't <laughs> really listen to podcasts. I was like, they don't listen to shit. Wow. Somebody said they listened to like 900 minutes of us, and I was like, I could not imagine. I could barely listen to 30 minutes of myself. Exactly. Let alone Jordan. I, just, I, don't I, listen I, to I actively either. don't listen to myself on purpose. <laughs> That's still funny to me, that you don't listen at all. Have you ever listened to an episode, Jackson? Yeah. When, Casey, when I started dating Casey and she found out about it and Whoops. said she listened to some episodes, I was like... I probably should listen to these episodes because I don't remember what I said, and I need to be prepared. <laughs> That's to answer I, questions. I don't. Kayla would like listen and ask me questions as she's listening, and I'm like, I gotta be real with you. I have no idea what I talked about. I, she's like, it happened two days ago. He's like, I don't remember after we stopped recording. I black out when we record. I'm gonna be honest with you. When we edit, when I edit, I don't even remember what I edited about when I go to write the description for the episode. That's a fact. <laughs> no one reads like, the description. I try. No one reads the description. The description doesn't matter. You, this is the content you're getting. It's I never wrote my blog post some about my trip. The description you until, sure didn't. I really fucked it up. I asked you to. I begged, even. I, I begged. can still do it. Uh, please. <laughs> Door is wide open. I'll think about it. The right button. It's very easy to press. I'll think about it. Probably not, though. Not a big if you fan just, of writing if you send or me the, doing things. The documents, I'll write it. You want me to fax you pictures of my travel journal? That's what you want? Or you could 
take a picture with your cell phone that you talk to me on every day. It's multiple, multiple pages. There's, I think I did about two, an average of two pages a day. Okay. So it's a lot. I'll just bring it with you when you come home. Spain is pretty. I'll yell at you. <laughs> he wrote it in Trump handwriting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <He wrote> it. <laughs> Fat tip sharpie. <laughs> Spain is pretty. Clenched Both. fist around the pen. <laughs> Both the Luna games start late. <laughs> you shut up. You shut up right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're still embarrassed about them, huh? That was, you know, the the whole trip. I was I was pretty good about being on my shit, and which is a big surprise for me. But I showed up to a Barcelona game six hours early. Yeah. <laughs> but it was nice because we got to walk around when there was no one there. I was like, we're here a little early. It'll probably fill up. They let you into the stadium six hours early. No, but like, there's oh, okay. a whole visitors' <laughs> okay. experience outside. A big ass fan shop. It's like a there's a whole bunch of shit, and then there's you know there's a bunch of cool stuff to take pictures of. Gotcha. So we got to do that. And, but the, we got there six hours early. <laughs> we planned our day like, oh, it's a, it's an afternoon game. It's great. We'll go to the game. <laughs> it was not. Just did not <sighs> look at a single schedule at all. Well, I looked at the schedule, but my Bleacher Report app was still in Eastern time when I looked at it. And that's when I wrote it down. Like I had notes for myself or like I, I typed up stuff on our Google Doc. I just never made the like connection that it was an eastern time not a, anyway it doesn't matter people make mistakes okay <laughs> some worse than others yeah. so is anybody's um spotify uh 2019 interesting who are your top artists i haven't even done mine yet can i do that real quick is that like a fast yeah. thing to do yeah it's you just go on the page top. and it says it's that it should be the top it says see how you listen 2019 okay i, I actually cool i don't use spotify for my music i only use it to listen to podcasts so like it's the joe budden podcast us in mixtape and that's it i feel like mixtape has to be the most listened to podcast because they just put out hours of content every week it's cheating everybody was <laughs> people were tweeting at coley and tyler with their uh <laughs> it's like i spent 87 and a half days listening to my mixtape <laughs> which same probably so I don't want to know how much time I spent listening to them. I, it's on Apple Podcasts, so so we'll never know. My uh, my top artists were John Bellion, Kanye West, Chance the Rapper, Childish Gambino, and Bo Burnham. Bo so Burnham. it sounds like you love your wife. <laughs> yeah, I love my wife. Oh wait, wait, uh, I I don't see how to get this unwrapped. Is it? I, I, I I'm on my desktop, but I don't see any prompt oh. for it. Uh, you they sent you an email. Do it on your phone. Oh, it's right there on my phone. Would you look at that? <laughs> it's literally the first thing you Whoop. see on your phone. Kill just busted it's... into the room to show me because she could hear me struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. My sound changed with the seasons. Wow. I'm sure everyone's did. John Bellion, number one. Yep. Coltrane, number two. It was kind of cool. I, I showed my buddy um, from City Coltrane, and it was a, his number one listened to artist. I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. Penelope's my top song. Hamilton was my number four artist. Yeah, my so the genre is like shows show tunes and it looks a little gay, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it looks a little first of all, Patrick <laughs> looks a little. Uh... I was genre fluid. <laughs> Pop rap is my number one. <laughs> genre fluid. <laughs> that's what Spotify told me. What Pop rap was my name. number one. Though. It looks a little genre fluid. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Underground hip hop's up there. That's an interesting. Uh, for who? For me. For what, what artist? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't tell me. It just gave me a little bar graph. What do you want from me? I don't know. Give How us the I... answers. Salty Virgins Club podcast was my top podcast on Spotify, oh. but that's because I don't listen to podcasts on Spotify right. generally. Who does? Somehow in my top genres, country and electro made it. I. I you listen to fucking Old Town Road 900,000 times. <laughs> All right, fair is fair for that. I don't know what electronic song I've ever listened to, like, more than, like, twice. Are you on a family plan? No. Mm. Jackson doesn't even know who his own brother is. Like, what? <laughs> family plan. Well, you don't have to be a family. Uh, never mind. He would have but to also, know who his brother was. Also, my top was. ten songs are, like, no, it's okay. two to baby songs, uh, Frank Ocean song, and seven songs off of Igor. 
<laughs> Jackson was sad all year. Well, well, uh, thanks for listening to this episode of, episode of uh, Salty Ridges Club Podcast. <laughs> <sighs> we appreciate you make sure you co- like comment subscribe tell your friends tell your parents tell uh you know the people that you work with just also open spotify put this on repeat leave it open for like 24 hours stream it as much as you need i don't if care. someone wants to set up a click farm in their house just to give us views that'd be cool because uh the year is almost over and we have made exactly zero dollars and i don't know we've lost money <laughs> i'm about four hundred dollars in the hole on this venture Cheers, Yay. mates. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. yeah, tell your friends. Uh, help us get ads. We'd really appreciate it. Don't. And tw- Just listen to our stuff and love it. Thanks. Peace. Someday you will find me Caught beneath the landslide In a champagne supernova in the sky Someday you will find me A champagne supernova, a champagne supernova in the sky. Wake up the dawn and ask her why. A dream, a dream, she never dies. Wipe that terror. That podcast should have ended ages ago.